my god, you do. Okay, okay. I've had a moment, I've sat, I've thought. Hopefully you guys saw my reaction. Let's talk about, let me get my honest thoughts, truly my honest thoughts on Combat Pack 2 for Mortal Kombat 1. It was just recently announced, but I still think I've had enough time to really ponder on this. And I'm just gonna give it to you straight up. I ain't gonna lie, man, I ain't gonna lie. Combat Pack 2, when it comes to the guest characters at least, kinda suck. Bro, kinda, kinda. Now again, this is my opinion. You can disagree, that's totally fine. If you're a Scream fan, a Conan fan, or a Turtle Terminator fan, then yeah, you're gonna love this. I don't blame you if you're a fan of it. I'm not. Out of all, out of any, guys, this sucks. Out of any movie, TV show, video game, in a world of gods, ninjas, sorcerers, some dude with a knife is is the best choice. He's the guy. This is the best choice we got for a guest character in Mortal Kombat. Now, I'm not saying they're not gonna do him well. They're gonna do him awesome. He will be, without a doubt, a very fun and interesting character. I'm not doubting that. What I'm saying is, when it comes to the choices of the guest characters, I'm sure they had out of the, all the pool for all the IPs they could have chased, they chose Ghostface. Some dude with a knife. Some dude with a knife fighting gods. Yeah, okay. But that one step there's like two or three i don't care if there's 40 of them i don't care if there's a hundred of them a hundred of these dudes is not scary to the likes of giris Liu kang shang Tsung, and it doesn't stack up to the options they could have had like doom guy older kratos master chief if you want to go the horror genre freaking pinhead is a better option again this is all subjective it's my opinion if you disagree it's cool if you guys have watched my videos i had two shorts that really blew up and they were about me saying i don't want to see Ghostface in you know mortal kombat ones combat pack two I blatantly said that forever ago and and here we are I'm look I'm staring at Ghostface in the face and and so I I stand by it I, I, I think it sucks I think Conan's just like a, another dude with a bigger knife at least T1000 has the potential to have the most interesting moveset out of all three of them like his will be actually really cool to see but like my brother like like this this okay first of all the actual returning characters noob cybot holy shit cannot wait the design I think is fine I think this is gonna be really cool to see how this world's Bihan became Noob Saibon, how he behaves, how his gameplay looks. I can already see people freaking out in the comments like, oh, well, they gender swap Sector Cyrax. Who cares? Who cares? We got Sector, we got Cyrax. It's a multiverse. There are millions and trillions of endless of universes in this multiverse. Of course, one of them is gonna have a, a female version of the character. So they, they brought in Sector Cyrax, female version. I don't care. I'm cool with it. I just can't wait to see how they play. We saw a little bit of gameplay in the trailer here, actually. I mean, and this looks awesome, dude. This looks really cool and again knowing nether realm when they put in Ghostface and conan they're gonna make them awesome they're gonna make them fun i'm not doubting that it's gonna be really cool to see them meaning like cool to see their moveset but i just gotta say it again dude combat pack 2 guest character wise kind of sucks and i can already see you guys in the comments those that love Ghostface. Ghostface was my number one really it was your number one pick out of all of the guest characters they could have chosen from any ip he was your number one some dude hiding behind a mask wielding a, a six inch knife they could have literally just given smoke a ghost face skin and that would have worked out perfectly and if you argue there's two or three of them they could have just put in noob cybot as they did and then given him a ghost face skin but instead now they're adding all of the choices to smoke noob cybot and ghost face dude noob cybot's gameplay here looks so freaking awesome this is gonna be a ton of fun to play dude just teleports back typical noob cybot gameplay and i i love it then also we got i mean the story because the combat pack includes the story right so i'm not gonna lie the guest character wise i think kind of sucks the returning characters i think is awesome now let's talk about the story for a brief moment what is this what they literally just took thanos from the marvel multiverse was like let's make him havoc like my brother are you trying to collect all six chess pieces what are you doing i guarantee you this is like power this is time this is space in the universe this is whatever like havoc's going to control the multiverse oh i have never seen that story before and i've also previously stated that i think that them going the multiverse route was was not good and i stand by it i still think it's like, like a giant cop out because now you can reintroduce or introduce any character any way anyhow and be like oh it's a multiverse they're from this universe oh and they're from this universe so it just, we brought them all together whoa like there's no real interesting backstory at that point or at least none of it that actually 
matters but that is their reasoning for bringing in the female uh sector cyrax that's how we're getting noob cybot i'm betting that's how we're getting all the skins and the invasions like they're making it work within the story and the game modes they have in the game sure but like i've always thought the multiverse idea is just like a giant cop out and seeing this again super cool but i still stand by it i think it's a cop out now let me be clear i am very excited i love mortal kombat i love mortal kombat 1 as a game i think it's so much fun i think the characters are awesome i actually enjoy the cameo system i like what they got going on i didn't mind homelander omni-man peacemaker anti-heroes they were like super gory and i thought that was their theme they were going for it was more like an anti-hero theme but now they've thrown that theme out the window with ghostface conan t-1000 I, they don't have a theme anymore this is just a mortal kombat smash brothers mix they're like f it throw in anybody who cares it almost feels like they were trying to go for other ips trying to go for other characters and like all they were like the bottom of the barrel all they had was Ghostface, and some guy was like yeah you know what f it just put him in we have nobody else put him in the game like look at this you think some dude with this knife is gonna do shit to any of these? This dude's got a bigger knife. That's quite literally all they're bringing to the table. This could have been He-Man. That would have been cooler. Returning characters, pumped. Guest characters, <laughs> Watch me be a ghost face mate now. That'd be hilarious. Subjective, my opinion. With that being said, let me know your opinion, your thoughts down below. Keep it civil, please. But like, what are your guys' thoughts on this entire combat pack? I, I, I mean the characters, the story. Oh yeah, and we're getting animalities? Holy shit. I thought we'd be getting like friendships and mercies before this, but I'll take it. The only problem with animalities and any finisher that's like this is it's really cool to see them for the first time. But once you see it nine, 10, 20 times it starts to lose its uh initial spark you know what i'm saying but we'll see where it goes i'm excited it looks really cool the animalities will be free update available to all players on release of combat pack 2 which if you don't know comes out september 24th 2024 and it says here that cyrax sector and noob cybot are available on release so are we getting three characters like the day it comes out because that'd be wild and then the guest characters are coming later interesting way to do it if they do it that way again guys let me know your thoughts thoughts down below on the story the animalities the combat pack returning characters guest characters let me know your thoughts down below subscribe here for more mortal kombat and fighting game content take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more mortal kombat news guides reactions and more